If you're a carpet cleaner who wants to book more jobs, stick around and watch the rest of this video. Today, I'm going to talk with you about why you want to show up on Google and why you might even want to show up on Google more than one time. To kick things off, let's go ahead and search for carpet cleaning in a random city in the United States. Uh, today, let's do carpet cleaning in Cincinnati, uh, Ohio. How about that? Carpet cleaning, Cincinnati. Uh, let's see what pulls up here on the first page of Google. First thing I see is three Google guaranteed ads. We've got Spick and Span Home Cleaning Services, maybe. Uh, Teasdale Fenton Carpet Cleaning and Trenton's Helping Hands. Those are the three companies who are showing up with Google guaranteed sponsor ads at the top here. If I were to click on one of these ads and call the company, they would get charged for that call. That's how Google guaranteed ads work. They put you right at the top of Google. So if you're looking to book carpet cleaning jobs right now, if you have availability in your schedule this week to go out and clean carpets for people, these are awesome ads to run because a lot of people who need their carpets cleaned this week are going to click on these ads and call the first carpet cleaner that they see who has availability and looks like they can do a good job and is you know open and nearby. So these are awesome ads to run if you're looking to fill your schedule right now. They can be a little bit expensive. Like I said, you're going to pay for every phone call that you get and the price per call has been going up and up and up. I've seen it as high as $40, $50 in some areas recently. So be aware of that. Another place that you can run ads is on Google ads. I don't see a Google search ad showing up on this page of search results right now. But if you wanted to run ads on Google ads, you can also do that. It's a great program. We highly recommend Google ads on that program. You pay per click instead of paying per phone call. So the economics of it can work out a lot better, especially if you have a decent website um, and you have your ad campaign set up correctly and conversion tracking in place. If you need help with that, go to bookcleanjobs.com and schedule time to talk with us. Scrolling down here, we've got the Google local search pack. Let's see who shows up in the local pack. Widmer's carpet cleaners, 375 reviews, 4.8 stars. Cincinnati Dry Carpet Cleaning, 40 reviews, 4.9 stars. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. Uh, G. Furrer, <laughs> Jeffrer Co. Inc. Yeah, I have no idea. You got me on that one. You got me tongue tied here. 22 reviews, 4.7 stars. A great way to book carpet cleaning jobs is to show up in this local pack. In order to show up here, you're going to need a Google business profile. You're not only going to need a Google business profile, it's going to need to be verified. So Google might want to send you a text message or a postcard to your address with a verification code. They might even want to do a video chat to verify your business. But it's very important that you get a Google business profile and start collecting some reviews. You can also upload some photos. You can um, include the services that you offer, carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, rug cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, hardwood cleaning, whatever else you offer, add those to your profile, um, upload a logo. You can upload videos to your profile, ask your customers to leave your reviews on your Google business profile. And this doesn't need to cost you any money. It's free to sign up for a Google business profile. It's free to verify your Google business profile. You're going to need a couple of reviews on that profile before you're even able to run these Google guaranteed ads up here. So if you're just getting started and you don't have any budget to run ads, if spending $40, $50 per phone call sounds crazy to you, then start down here. Get a Google business profile, verify it, upload some photos, upload your logo, fill out the profile, write a description, include your services, uh, write your service area, include all the cities that you serve. Fill out your profile completely and then make sure that you ask every single customer that you serve to leave you a review on Google and that will help you show up in this area right here. Moving down, we've also got Cincinnati's Zero Res franchise. Zero Res is all over the place. If you have a Zero Res in your area, you probably see them on search results on Google all the time. Zero Res ranks very well. Their websites are, are usually built pretty well. Big franchise like that, a lot of times they um, have put some budget behind their marketing. They've had a professional website built. They're running some ads. They're doing search engine optimization to help their website show up more often. They're putting a review strategy in place. They're doing everything that they need to do. Widmer's Carpet Cleaners. Now, this is the second time I've seen them, at least second time. Widmer's Cleaners right here. I also saw them. Yep, they were number one in the local pack. 375 reviews, 4.8 stars. That's kind of important. You see, I just noticed Widmer's Carpet Cleaners. They stood out to me because they showed up on this page more than one time. They showed up right here on the local pack. I saw how many reviews they had. It says, my carpets were so clean and fresh. All right, they sound like an awesome carpet cleaner. They've been in business for over 10 years. They're not open right now. Um, but that's okay. I'm out here on the West Coast and searching for a carpet cleaner in Cincinnati. So it's uh, it's after business hours in Cincinnati as I'm doing this search. But if it were during business hours, it would say open and I'd be highly likely to give them a call because I just saw their name again right here. Widmer's Cleaners, right? Their website shows up right alongside Zero Resin Stanley Steamer. That makes Widmer's Cleaners look really good, right? It makes them look very professional that they show up alongside the big franchises. So think about that. If you want to show up in the natural organic results on Google, you need to have a website. Your website needs to be competitive. You know, you need to have a website that looks as good and functions as well as other cleaners in your area. If you have franchises in your area, you might need to have a nicer website. 
Uh, if you don't have franchises in your area, if none of your competitors have a decent website, then you can probably get away with a less nice website for a while, right? You can invest in a cheaper website to start up with, but eventually you are going to want a, a decent functioning website with call to action buttons, click to call phone numbers, a lead form, online booking. You're going to want to do some search engine optimization. You want to invest in search engine optimization or SEO to help your website show up highly on Google. There's firms to help you out with that. Book Cleaning Jobs does SEO as well. We also build websites. Feel free to reach out to us. Um, there's What else is on here? There's Yelp. Yelp is a great place to create a profile. I don't recommend advertising on Yelp for most cleaners, especially carpet cleaners. But you do want to create a profile on Yelp because Yelp tends to rank very highly on Google in most areas. And a great strategy is if you, let's say Widmer's Cleaners, for instance, had about 50 reviews on Yelp and five stars again, if I were to click on this Yelp uh, listicle right here, let's just see what happens. Matter of fact, let's just see what happens. Hey, look at that. Widmer's Carpet Cleaners, 21 reviews, four stars. Looks like they may even be running ads on Yelp, but just right there, I just had a, I just saw them the third time, right? Third time I've seen this company. If I'm looking to get my carpets cleaned in Cincinnati, Widmer's is looking pretty good to me right now because they've shown up a couple of times here. And even look, if you scroll past the sponsored results on Yelp, Widmer's shows up organically as number one as well. So good stuff all around. Widmer's, you're doing the right thing. You're showing up multiple times on Google. And if you're a carpet cleaner out there who wants to do the exact same thing, just copy what Widmer's and what other cleaners like them are doing, right? They have a decent website. They have a Google business profile with reviews on it. They have a, a Yelp profile with reviews on it. It looks like they've uploaded some photos. I can see their their logo in this photo right here. These aren't stock photos, right? These are their actual photos that they went out and took. Um, you can do the same thing, you know, build a website, build a Google business profile, upload some photos, ask your customers to leave you reviews. Angie's list, same thing. If you want to be on Angie's list, feel free to get on there. I don't recommend uh, advertising on Angie's list for most cleaners, but it may be a place to start if you're just getting started in the industry. Uh, Coit, another carpet cleaning franchise. Teasdale Fenton, I believe they're a local carpet cleaner in the Cincinnati area. They're big big cleaner from what I understand. So they show up pretty often. Cincinnati Dry Carpet Cleaning, OxyFresh, another, another uh, franchise. And then down here, we've got a Google ad. This is kind of interesting. Google ads, a lot of times these Google search ads, you see it says sponsored right here. They'll show up at the top of the page. They'll show up right here, either instead of Google guaranteed ads or right underneath the Google guaranteed ads. On this search result, it's actually showing this ad down here at the bottom, which is kind of interesting. These Google ads are very powerful though. Don't be fooled. Just because this ad didn't show up at the top of Google in this one search does not mean that these are not the right ads to invest in. At Book Cleaning Jobs, we highly recommend that our clients invest in Google ads. We recommend that they run Google ads 12 months out of the year. They, they always run a budget of Google ads um, because these are the top performing ads that we see for carpet cleaners. I talk with cleaners every single day who spend a lot of money on Facebook ads, on direct mail, on you know, everything under the sun, magazines, local magazines, neighborhood magazines, social media, um, all kinds of stuff, right? I've talked with cleaners who've invested in a lot of different marketing. We've taken a lot of cleaners money and invested it in a lot of different marketing over the years. Of everything that we've invested our dollars into, Google Ads has been the number one performing program for us. The number one ROI of everything that we've done has been Google Ads. So like I said, don't let this fool you. Google Ads is actually a vital part of the puzzle. We include it for every single client that we work with at Book Cleaning Jobs. And so it should probably be part of your uh, long-term plans for your cleaning business. If you can't afford Google Ads right now, at least earmark that idea for later on because you're going to want to add it to your advertising arsenal. Uh, down here, we've got Google recommending some carpet cleaning products, which is not really what you're after if you're running a carpet cleaning business. And hopefully your customers are not looking at this stuff either because you don't want them dumping all of this crap on their carpet and then calling you after they mess it up. Um, so, but that's basically what the first page of Google looks like. And if you notice, you know, these ads, that's the quickest way to get you to the top of Google. Google tends to show ads all the time on the top of the first page of their, of their results. So if you want to be at the top of the results on Google, you almost have to advertise in this day and age, especially if you're in a, a midsize or a larger city, there's going to be other carpet cleaners who are advertising. There's going to be franchises who are advertising. So you're going to want to advertise if you want to show up at the top of Google. If you're just starting out, you don't have any budget, um, you don't want to spend any money, I would highly recommend at least going out and claiming, verifying your Google business profile as a good starting point. Take some photos with your phone, the phone that you got in your pocket. They don't have to be professional looking photos. Just grab pictures of your van, pictures of your equipment, pictures of the recent jobs you've done before and after, yourself in a uniform shirt if you've got one. Add those to your profile, add your services, add your service area, ask customers to review you, start there. All that stuff is free. All that takes is a little bit of hustle. 
a little bit of drive to get started. So start there. Look to be running ads later on, both Google guaranteed ads and Google ads, and definitely create a website. You know, you're going to need a website for your carpet cleaning business at some point. It's 2023 as I make this video right now. If you don't have a website at this point, you're already pretty far behind the curve because a lot of cleaners in your area are they're already on Google, right? Their websites have already been picked up by Google. They're already ranking. They're already getting found there. So if you don't have a website, you're going to need to get one like ASAP. You don't have to spend a lot of money on it at first. If you're just starting out, take a look at what your competitors have for a website. Try to get something that's competitive with that. Um, if you have to start with something inexpensive like Wix, Squarespace, something like that, feel free. We also offer the 24-7 marketing dashboard at bookcleaningjobs.com. You can build a website inside of that dashboard. Go request a free trial of that software to try it out. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you want to grow your carpet cleaning business, hit subscribe. I'm Ruben with bookcleaningjobs.com. Thanks a lot.